Hello, this is Gnome Labs channel uh, showing you a video about the SNOM public announcement system. That is a public announcement system controlled by a telephone. In the first vi video we are going to unpack this one. Here we have a small manual and, and an installation guide quick start guide for PA1 in English, German, French, Italian and and Espana, Spain language, pretty nice one. And we have a drill template uh, for for wall mount. Okay. Then we have the unit itself. That's the SNOM PA1, which you can see they have a removable bracket that is for the that is for the wall mount. So you can either assemble them or remove them depending on your application application. So here we are going to remove them. So what else do we have in the box? Um, we have screws here for the wall mount, four pieces and we have a complete set of cables here that is to extend the function to further applications so that one can be connected to that unit for, for special application which we will explain later in another video. Alright, so we are going through the connections but first need to say something about the function. So the function is that you can do public announcements by a telephone system. That means that unit is connected to IP network and another telephone can call this unit. This one will automatically pick up the call and have an integrated amplifier and will put the caller's voice directly to, to the speaker input to the speaker output. So can have an amplified um, announcement made from a telephone system. For this it has a two Ethernet ports so it also has a switch function. Uh, one port is with a power over Ethernet and uh, that is the powering the device through the network cable so for this for this you would also need a switch with enabled power over Ethernet. If you don't have that switch then you have to use a power adapter which is not supplied by the product. So SNOM provides a power supply and so the only thing you have to make sure that this is 5 volts power supply with at least um, with minimum 2 amps to drive that one um, because it has um, it needs that power for the for the for the correct operation. What else do we have here? We have two status indicators, two LEDs, one red and one green one, uh, showing you the state for power or call. As we don't have any um, display here, so there's one <coughs> there's one key, and if you press that key, it will it will tell you the IP address by audio. Here's the input for for the 5 volt power supply. If you cannot use the power over Ethernet, EXT is another serial communication for special application. The same with some general input outputs where you can where you can connect the wire harness for some special application. So you can control them by a web browser menu or by telephone. Then on the other side. Beside the standard speaker clamp, where you can where you can connect any 8 ohm um, amplifier, that is a class D amplifier, um, and the the recommended impedance for a speaker is is 8 ohms. Then you have separated in output microphone in and line out, so that you there you can connect an analog headset that is not the one which is known in the mobile phone world because this is only one plug but for the it's an ordinary type which is used in PC industry 
which also has the advantage then with line out you can also connect another external external more powerful amplifier and that line out also can work in parallel with the speaker output so both can be used at the same time then there's one keyboard input where you can go for your own keyboard application to control that one and there's a second input output for general purpose usage and you can also get some voltage out for your for your customer specific application here it can be supplied with the with the 12 volts okay for voice quality that unit supports the the G722 wideband audio codec and uh, so the, the and the power the power amplifier here is a powerful 4 watts amplifier it supports zip calls it supports multicast but in the in the next video we will show that even without a zip server you can you can operate that one with direct IP call test configuration is through a web browser menu and the good thing is with the switch you can put one SNOM PA1 right after the other one by cascading them so you can cascade several ones for the power for the PoE class it's class 3 device so that is maximum 12.95 watts and, uh, and the power adapter as mentioned before need to have at least 10 watts power to for, for secure operation all right th that's that's all for that unit now so make sure you subscribe our channel and in the next video we are going to show you how to keep that unit into operation with a SNOM IP phone for for some public announcements thank you